You gonna drink your whiskey? I'm gonna have, yeah, I'm gonna have it on scotch. What do you mean? Oh, it's scotch? Mm -hmm. Nice. Drinking and filming. You want some? No, I'm okay. This is actually a good one. Try it. Actually, I kind of like scotch. It's more mellow. It's more mellow than whiskey. What's up, everybody? What's up? Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so, the long-awaited fall home decor haul is here. This is one I'm probably most excited for this video, like, of all of our videos the past couple months. Like, this one really excites me for some reason. I know. We love fall. I feel like it gets yeah. us, like, re-inspired for decor and the season, and especially with, like, 2020, it just... We need a little festive yeah. spirit over here. Well, that and also we've been buying stuff over the past like few weeks and we've left them in the bags for the most part. And yeah. so now it's like time to reveal. taking things out of like, what have we, what have, what do we got? I know. What's the fall decor that we got? This is literally like probably going to be the biggest haul. We're going to try and go through each piece really, really quickly, quickly because yeah. it will be forever if we do that. Um, also, we are going to link the things that are from Amazon and um, Kirkland Target. and Target. Home goods won't be able to. Home goods I can't link. If we have a chance, we'll find some similar items to pieces that were like home yeah. goods or vintage items we found. Yeah. Check out the description box if there's anything you see. Um, we'll try to find similar items, but for the most part, those are the only yeah. places we can link from. If you're just stumbling across this video, my name is Julia. This is Hunter, and we run this channel together. Yeah. We do full lifestyle. We're super into home, um, cooking, drinking. <laughs> like yeah recipes travel we do yeah travel fashion, fashion beauty all kinds of stuff yeah but home decor is probably our biggest passion biggest passion yeah. decor design architecture just interiors home Lots everything of renovations home. Yeah, yeah everything like that so um we vlog pretty much everything so if you guys want to check out some of our vlogs yeah. join the family um please stick around subscribe yeah and i think one thing that's nice is a lot of our vlogs includes a lot of home stuff too so if you're new because of the home yeah go check out our vlogs yeah we show a lot of like daily decor stuff over there and things like that but um without further ado before we dive into the haul we're going to do a quick word from today's sponsor yeah we just had a bomb lunch a second ago and we wanted to show it so check that out and we'll catch up with you here in about a minute so today's video, we are partnering with Green Chef, which is a meal delivery service. We're gonna make their black bean and sweet potato tacos, which is a vegetarian meal. I'm really excited for that. And they literally give you all of the ingredients. It's so easy, so. It's so organized and so easy to make. Like, oh yeah, and we need to So start. simple, simple. So we've got, these are the options, black bean, sweet potatoes, which is uh, tacos, well I can't talk, which is what we're making. They also sent us tilapia and ground beef cheesesteak melts, and you can choose from like a lot of different things. So, okay, let's get to cooking. If you guys aren't familiar with Green Chef, it is a meal delivery service that is a USDA certified organic company. And Green Chef is actually now owned by HelloFresh so that they can offer a wider variety of different meal plans to choose from. So you can kind of switch back and forth between the different brands depending on which meals you like. What's really cool about it is that you can log on each week and choose the different meals that you want from a different array of easy to follow lifestyles. They have different meal plans that include paleo, plant powered, keto, and balanced living, which I would say is probably what Hunter and I fall into. It's super convenient and easy. It makes dinner cooking super fast. Um, and we like to kind of mix it in with our other meals that we plan each week. So you guys can use code Julia80 to get $80 off your first month plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.us slash Julia80 to redeem. And all of that info will be in the description box down below. Okay, here we go. Let's try it out. This looks delicious. All these flavors go so well together. Mm-hmm. They're really good. This is not something we'd come up with on our own. Never. We would never. It was really easy too. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. You guys know where to find the info? We're gonna finish up lunch <clears throat> and then we'll come back for the haul. See you in a second. Okay. All right, so that was about three hours ago. We had some lunch. Yeah. It was awesome. We've since changed clothes, obviously, and had like a normal work day. And it's like 5 p.m. We're gonna show you all our stuff. So excited. Okay, so we're gonna start with Amazon because I feel like that is just the, the biggest, the baddest, you know. Yeah, and these are actually purchases that I wasn't involved in. No. And so I'm excited to see. I know. So this will be like me showing you what yeah. I bought. I'm let Julie do all the talking. With our credit card. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so first things first. So we have kind of like a modern 
bohemian farmhouse i would say that's what we call our style yeah and so we like to keep everything super neutral kind of minimalist if we can so the first thing i found were these little ceramic white pears and uh, i feel like those are apples those are pears for sure. <laughs> they're pears and i just think these are gonna be really cute to put on like plop on a little shelf back there put them somewhere in a bowl. I actually have them in a bowl right now, and they just, when you glance over, you're like, oh, that's Did you solid. go more like accessory vibe from Amazon? Yeah, because it's, Amazon's smaller thing. And mostly fall stuff, I feel like, is accessories. accessories. We don't really have any furniture. Seasonal stuff is smaller. Accessories. So those are super cute. Um, also got those white pumpkins, if you want to show those. Um, just some plain white pumpkins and I actually plan on putting these up where that dough bowl is like one two three So I got three little plain white pumpkins with the leaves. Yeah. Oh, yeah We'll show you here in a little bit that we got from Target. That's right. Um, so these are really good basic I feel like pumpkins are cute for shelf styling yeah. just a little fall thing quick little promo here yeah. This is part two of a four-part series. Yes. So the first part was shop with us. This oh, yeah. is part two, which is a haul Part three is decorate with us, mm -hmm. which some of the things that she's showing you, like the, the pumpkins that we'll put up there. Show you how we're styling it. We will be it. showing you how we put it together, how we style it and all that good stuff. So yeah. just be aware that we're not just showing you and like never going to show you what we do with it. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. Yes. And we'll show you how to style it, everything. Yeah. Um, is it Amazon? Yes, yeah, it's Amazon. Amazon. Oh, I'm going to show this first. Okay. So another thing that I we've really went kind of ham on is fall florals and i feel like that's a really easy way to change the vibe of the house without like going crazy a lot of florals i know and i saw these kind of burnt red and purple hydrangeas in one of my favorite interior design instagrams and i was like you know what i'm gonna find some faux florals that color so i found somewhere. these on amazon and you love hydrangeas anyway i love hydrangeas and i actually thought these were gonna look really cheap but i think they look really good so i bought a bunch of different stems and I put them together in my own little wooden base. This is vintage. Um, it's not from Amazon, but it turned out really cute. Did you get all those colors? So good. All those colors from Amazon? Uh, yeah, all of them. So nice. we'll link those below. But I just love them. I feel like we got faux hydrangeas from quite a few. We places. did. I went a little crazy on the hydrangeas. Oh, this candle. is a candle. Uh, from Swan Creek Candle Co. It's actually, I think it's like a southern brand. We live in Texas, and yeah. I discovered this in Oklahoma, but their candles like come in cute little like bowls and things that blend in with decor, and they're super strong scented. I feel like you see these at like a lot of local boutiques. Yes, in exactly. The South. Exactly. But so, really cute. Love having big jumbo candles put on the counter. More faux floral. More faux floral. Okay, this is a garland actually, and the plan was to use the this floral with these pumpkins so you have to just wait for the decorate with me to see how we use these yep. however we may have found something better um so i might utilize this somewhere else but looks pretty real actually you feel like this would be like multi-seasonal yeah like, kind of like definitely too. definitely um you could use this for like wedding table decor too yeah, yeah. something like that so like but centerpieces for your dining table totally yeah, maybe we can use them on the dining table. Um, okay, and then the last couple things from Amazon are actually I am decorating, going to be redecorating our coffee bar yeah, to be fall the themed. Kitchen nook area. Yeah, and I just want to make it really cute. There's going to be a whole video on that, so stay tuned. But I got a couple things for that. So the first is this little wooden shelf, um, which you could actually use a lot of places. Nice. This would be cute uh, on the kitchen counter with like soap and stuff like that. I'm using it for coffee uh, bar decor, but it's cute. I feel like we'll use oh, that for multiple one. things like right? throughout the year. I know, I think it'd be cute in a bathroom. Like This really is probably anywhere. my favorite find that you did. Oh, like favorite. idea that you did. I know, I like okay. So I'm so excited about this. So these are little bitters, like bitters jars for a cocktail bar to put like your bitters in. And I wanted to find something to put my coffee syrups in, like vanilla, pumpkin spice, whatever. And so I got these little guys on Amazon. They're so cute. They look super vintage. And I put the syrups in. So you'll see kind of how I'm using those on the coffee bar when that video comes out. That's the but vibe. It's so cute. What, right? else could you, what else could you use those for? Um, I feel like I see those type of things a lot. Well, like, they almost look like like vintage perfume bottles. I know. They're well, cool. definitely for really a cool. bar cart, they would be so oh, cute. Oh, for like bitters. Yeah, yeah for bitters yeah, yeah. Uh, or for like, I don't know, grenadine or something like yeah. that. You could put them absolutely like just fill them and they could be little perfume bottles like on a vanity, really like for anything. Yeah, we should do a little Empty. bar cart like set up I know. at some point. I know, we need Let to do that. Up so our alley, yeah. What, what are we doing? doing? <laughs> 
<laughs> totally. Okay, hold on. Put these down. What flavors you got in there right now? Pumpkin spice, vanilla, and salted caramel. Mm. Which the syrups I also got on Amazon, but those will be linked then. Um, okay, and then the last two items. Um, one is just this little jar that I'm also using for the coffee bar, coffee beans in it, wooden top, which I just think looks really nice yeah. versus. Um, it's a little elevated. Exactly. Versus like a little jar. Yeah. And then lastly is this little pedestal, um, which. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but I'm really liking pedestals for things. It, this, again, could go on maybe like the kitchen island with like soap and a candle, and it just kind of keeps everything contained, but I like the levels. Every store we go to, we're looking I for like, pedestals. we're looking for different types of pedestals. I know. Different raise, Hunter's razors. Hunter's like, you're obsessed with pedestals. Like, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I like them too. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I love little stools and whatnot. Yeah, but this but, one's really actually really heavy duty. It's like really good yeah. quality, I was surprised, and it's black, which is a nice. This is actually one of my, one of my favorite finds I've ever found was this like little miniature. So good. Footstool. I know we get well, so we many use questions. It, on we that. use it for our soaps and whatnot, sponges by our sink. But yeah, it's really, really cute. Cool. So I like having like different heights and things that adds like some interest. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. But yeah, maybe some cute. candles. You can use it for like a cheese platter or something like that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, moving on. Moving on. Should we move on to Home Goods or Kirkland's? I think Kirkland's because. Yeah. 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 Kirkland's. There's less Kirkland's. stuff from Kirkland's, right? Yeah. So let's let's move on to Kirkland's. Okay. And then Target, and okay. then Home Goods. Okay. Let's do that. Um, okay. You wanna, or I can show these. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, first thing we found from Kirkland's is this little candle holder. We plan on using these on the front porch. I think it's gonna look so good. I think so but too. But we need to decide if we're gonna use those corn stalks or not, because you probably shouldn't have a candle Near next to some corn dried stalk. corn stalk. No way. You know this might um, look cute like actually out on the uh, back porch too. Could be like. Where? Like on the wall. On either side of the windows. Yeah, that could be cute. Just we were just thinking for like porch or patio could create like a little. It could be a, a nice cool aesthetic. indoor vibe too. It could. Somewhere. We'll find a spot. We'll find a spot. We but like they're cool, them. and we bought candles to go with them. We did. Kirkland's. We got another stool. Another so, stool. Similar to the stool I just showed you, a little less vintage. It's yeah. more new, made to look vintage. Yep. But we have a couple ideas for this. We'll $16.99, that's good. We'll show you in the de decorate with us. Yeah. But yeah, $16.99, that's like a good price. I think I paid like 100 bucks for that vintage one. Same look, I know. Um, and I know we get so many questions about little stools are really hard to find, but this yeah. is so cute, like on a shelf or whatever. When we saw these, really there cute. was like 10 of them, and we were like, let's just buy like three or four just to like have because we love these. But they're anyways, really they're really cute. cool, and there's so many things you can use them for. So I, I see these like next to someone's bathtub in their bathroom yeah. like with some shampoos soaps. and stuff or soaps or bath like bubble bath whatever they're really cute accents um here are the candles oh yeah just that. some plain white pillar candles for um our little containers yeah okay and then from kirkland's was also this little i think this is actually a bread basket it's like a sea what do they call this a seagrass basket yeah um but i thought it could be cute on the coffee table maybe like you know with the pears inside or something you see what I mean? Like fill it up. We, we've been beautiful. seeing a lot of looks online Remotes. and in stores, like vintage yeah. stores, where people have like a, a whole basket of acorns or something like that. So cute. And I feel like that could be a cool we basket full of acorns. acorns I know. Somewhere. And like not just like some small looking acorns, but also like jumbo. I think they're like the bur bur oak trees, where it's like the bigger acorns. Yeah. So yeah, cute. You can really any cool. or like mini pumpkins, like anything that you want to get yeah. to put in there. I just think like different bowls and trays and baskets with like little things. Pecans, that are really cute. maybe. Pecans, yeah. yeah. And we have the artwork too. Yeah, the, so uh, we found this really good artwork at Kirkland's. Artwork that we think is one of the hardest things to find. Yeah. And I love this. It was like a tie-dye fabric artwork and it was on clearance for like 49, I think. And we got two we of got them. We got two, they had two there. Yeah. We went ahead and bought both. And it's not only, artwork's not only the hardest thing to find, but it's also the hardest thing to design in my mind. Like on yeah. walls, like placement of them, what you combine them with, what rooms they go in. I know. So it'll be interesting to see where you Do put Do you think those. they should go over there? Let's, let's grab them. Okay. Yeah, they're really, I feel like they kind of tie in all of our aesthetic and the artwork, because it has like fabric on it, it just looks so much more expensive than I think it actually costs. So that's exciting. You know, it's always about finding the affordable artwork that looks really elevated and like nice. This is the artwork. Gorgeous. They're oh, pretty big. Wow. 
But for okay. all of you who know our house and our aesthetic, yeah. we'd love to know where you think these should go. Yeah. Yeah, this was initially 120 and it was on clearance for, what'd you say? Oh yeah. 49, 49 And I know so. these are available online because I look, so I have them linked down there if you want to click yeah. and go check them out. They have a lot of different varieties, but I really liked this one. Good little pieces. And nice wooden frame. It's so cute. Okay, so right. I think that's good what for Kirkland's. next? Don't, did we have any more Kirkland stuff? I think that's it. That might be it. Okay, I think we go to Target. Uh, of all the Kirkland stuff, I'm actually really excited for those candle light fixture things. You are? Oh, good, because I feel like I'm not, like I'm hangles, not so sure. Hangle dangles. Yeah, hangle dangles. Where do they go? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Like, <laughs> bought them for our porch. Yeah. I would love to have them on our porch, but we probably need to move the corn stalk. Yeah. Which we should show you all the corn stalk too. It's very fall. Yeah, it's from Lowe's. Okay. Moving on to Target. Target. We didn't, we only got a couple things. We got a few um, things from Target. But. Just, things I'm excited for though. Me too. We really needed a doormat. So yeah. um, we first found this one. It's like a half, sorry, half circle. And it's like fringy. I feel yeah. like it was a cute. This seemed like the most fall, fall yeah. to us that will be more seasonal. And then we also have this one that might be just like. For more, year round. More year round. Just plain. But this is like 10 bucks. This could be fall also, yeah. Yeah, just plain kind of natural material doormat is good for our vibe. Yeah. This one could go in the back. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's cute. Okay. Moving on. We found this in the hearth and hand section, which is the Magnolia Chip and Joanna section yeah. of Target. And we thought this would really go really pretty. well up there. Yeah. We were talking about earlier with the dough bowl yeah. and some of the pumpkins. It would be like a nice vibe. Totally. Or as a dining table centerpiece. We have like a little cornucopia piece that we thought would go nice with like some pompous grass or something like that. I'm thinking we'll this will actually be really cute up there. And mm -hmm. then the green we can use on the dining yeah, table. Yeah, I love some color in here. I too. love it. And I like that it's like a soft muted red. It's not like, wow. Yeah, very you know? Yeah. Um, we also picked up this teeny tiny little basket. I just thought this would be cute for, you know. Anything. Anything. <laughs> we just always need knickknacks, you know, to we have, we, have a, we have a lot of vessels. We have a lot of vessels, but you need vessels. Yeah. That's important. Um, and then we also saw these little filler yeah. apples, which. These are very random, but we're random. like, those are so fall and so we'll fall. find a place for them. Yeah, like a little bowl, just yeah. like on the counter somewhere. Just It's just a little splash. A little touch. We, touch got, we got two of those just to like yeah. fill whatever yeah. vessel we're filling up. Cute. These were like a dollar, I think, or something. Three dollars. Yeah. yeah. That's it from Target. That was very few pieces from Target, but essential pieces that we really needed. That's right. Okay, the next store is one of our favorites, and if you're local in the DFW area, yeah. this is actually um, a place called the Frisco Mercantile. And it's really like a good mix of stuff yeah. that's kind of curated based on different people's style, and you kind of go pick through like different vintage finds and stuff like that. They but, have like all sorts of decor for every season. Yeah. They have like florals, they have vases, they have so much. They have so recommend. much, but yeah. you have to keep like an eye out because yeah. it's one of those places that you find like specific finds when you're looking for them. Yes. And you kind of got to pull the trigger when you find them because they're like a lot of times one of a kind. Yeah, you'll never see it again. Yeah. But um, we totally scored there today, so so excited. Yeah. Lots of vessels. I mean, speaking of vessels, we got a lot more vessels, Lots of vessels today. But you can never have enough vases. Like I always need them yeah. when I'm doing things. So this True. is the first one. To me, this looks literally like Pottery Barn. Um, it was 67 and it's beige and white, kind of vintage looking. It's so pretty. Um, and I'll see. I don't know if we could find it online. Napa Home and Garden. Napa Home and Garden. Oh, what do you know? Maybe we'll find it. But it's gorgeous. So we'll love this. I, I may be thinking for the coffee table with some greenery in it or something. What's like nice that. about a lot of the vessels that you and I both kind of go after is that they're they can be used all year long, and that's really like yeah. a lot of the decor we go after in general. Totally. So we do have seasonal touches, but yeah. Trying to find things that will you last. You could use each yeah, season. Yeah, sure. I know, it's like mostly about greenery and how you style things. Adding little pops. Next piece. <gasps> that one I This you. This was a piece that we both really liked, but I wasn't sold on. Mm -hmm. Julia had to sell me on it. It's beautiful. It, it had to come off this. I mean, I like it. It's a wooden vessel. It's, it's pure wood. It's perfect. Um, it's really cool. And this is the type of stuff that I would normally go after. But I feel like we have a lot of the stuff, so that's why I was kind of hesitant. I know, this shape though is just so unique, and our house is like, our ceilings are really high, so it's hard to find big yeah, items. Yeah, pieces. That's really hard. Yeah. Um, but I have seen some of these online, so I'll link some below if I can find them. 
but I love this one. I think it's. We're gonna put it. Either coffee table or like, if you, I don't know if you noticed, but we don't really have like vessel, the uh -huh. right vessels for that table, for the dining table, or for the coffee table. Yeah. So like, that's why you just need a bunch. That kind of totally could go that. next to like one like that too. Totally, like yeah. a two some little thing. Yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of vessels. All right, next semi vessel, not really, but is this woven cornucopia piece? I told Julia that I was wanting something like this for one of our yeah. table settings and I feel like it's very old school vibe like this reminds it me is. so much of like Thanksgiving and I feel like it could go cheesy really fast and yeah. I promise we're not cheesy but we have I some really good ideas like modern yeah sleek ideas totally for. and the fact that it was like whitewashed and wicker I was like hey that yeah. fits the aesthetic yeah. As you can tell, this fits the vibe of the house. I think you'll be excited and surprised on what, what we, we do with, with it. This. Yeah, so we have a really good tuned. idea, so stay tuned. It's gonna be really cute. Stay tuned for that. And I love that it's like traditional. I think yeah, it's yeah, so no, for sure. Cute. It's like, it's fun. You gotta keep some you know, like coziness to part your house. of yeah. Like I feel like seasonal decor is just like embracing yeah, you know the tradition sure. and like just having fun with it. Okay, this get up I was obsessed with right when I saw it. Hunter was like, "You're so annoying," but another <laughs> pedestal. <laughs> a pedestal white pedestal base with these faux pears in it and I'm like okay this is the perfect example of like a minimalist kind of classy home uh, mm. fall decor that is still neutral it just fits in perfectly it's, it's it. great it's great but so. these pears will last one fall season that's not true that's not true I that's love them. I'm thoughts. thinking kitchen counter or coffee table I don't know stay tuned okay I think you made the of this yeah the choice on that yeah this was um just this little bowl and knife set i think it's for like a little dip or something but i thought this would be really cute kind of looks like a little vintage for some guac or something yeah but i think like maybe on a bookshelf <laughs> or like you know with salt or something it'd be really cute i just like the wood i think a little wooden bowl like that with a knife would be great for like if you make the cranberry for thanksgiving like the cranberry sauce or something it's like totally that's so it. cute Okay, another vessel. Last one. Are you surprised? I think it is last one. Yeah. But this is more of like a concrete style pot. Love concrete. Like planter. Mm -hmm. But we'll use it for a variety of things. I'm sure we'll put some hydrangeas in here at some point. Probably. <laughs> I love that it was low and wide. I really think that's yeah. nice. I actually would look really good with those hydrangeas from Amazon on the coffee table. I feel like this is really in right now. Like it's very R H. Yeah, exactly. It I just thought it was a really is. good find. Yeah. I like it. Um, Man, we scored it. We I, really scored there. We scored today. And um, oh. the last, I think, kind of things we got there were some faux greenery, which they have a lot of really good things. So I get most of my olive branches from there. Mm -hmm. and they have these good are, olive branches. They do. These are faux olive branches, and I just thought they look really real. I like the shape of the leaves and everything, so I got three of those. Mm -hmm. And they actually have some good ones on Amazon, too. Is that too. awesome? Um, this is, I think, like fern. Fern. Let's see what it's called. Oh, it doesn't say. But I liked the color of these. They're like a gray. It's like gray. I don't even know, but they're so cool. I was like, I love the this? color. It's like a really soft gray green sage. I don't know. They're beautiful. So I thought these were so perfect for fall. Really this cute. might make my cornucopia design. But I have an idea for the cornucopia too. Oh, you want to be part of that? Okay. No. This is cool. Yeah. Isn't this cute? This yeah. is another like kind of half cheesy but cute. A little touch. It's um, a spoon rest for near the stove. I love it. So cute, right? That's a little cool. pumpkin? I know. Yeah. And it's white with a wooden top. So I thought that was cute. So this is a piece that Joy didn't know I bought today. Or maybe you did, but you didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. This is a vintage pipe stand. Of course. Okay. And your tobacco goes in here. Okay. 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 And I thought it'd be really cool, like for someone. I'm not gonna use it like this, but I was like, when I saw it, I was like, you know what? How cool would it be to like have your toothbrushes in here and like your cotton swabs, like totally. That's cute. At your that's sink. Super cute. So you. There's so many different things that I'm, I'm gonna plan on using oh this God. for, whether it's like in my office. Cute. It's or really like cute. coffee beans with some spoons. Yeah, it's super cute. I don't know. That it's was a good cool. Idea. But a little pipe and tobacco. Very stand. hunter. Yeah. Very right? neat. Yeah. And then um, you, you got a couple of what, what's this little pot over here? Oh yeah, we found this little pot. I guess we did get another vessel. Yeah. It's a terracotta pot, which is cute. And we were going to show these, but real Shows. quick before we move on to home goods. A oh. couple other small things, like small little vessels we got. Just yeah. like different vintage like ceramic yeah. little pieces for styling. that we can use for different like styling options, whether it's on the cabinets or 
in the coffee bar with some spoons or something. Like, yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll find Cute. a place for them. Oh, and I also got this there. I forgot. A little, I love these mini olive trees. Mini olive trees. They're so good for little accents. I have one in the kitchen. Yeah. That just, I'm, and I oh, actually have been looking for one for the bookshelves because I want a little greenery up there. I think so our favorite really olive plant in our whole house, whether it's like real olive trees in the front or like fake olive plants in the back, our favorite olive tree right now is that <laughs> one over there. Oh yeah, it's the best. The small like the little baby. one foot baby it's olive so cute. plant I know. on our kitchen counter. And in a little cement planter, it's really cool. Yeah. Easy to decor item. They have a good one on Amazon actually. Okay. Okay. One last small little vessel from the Frisco Mercantile. Just for like shop. a rose or something. Yeah, like one single rose in a guest bathroom or I don't know, whatever that might be. Oh, quickly, I wanted to show these mini pumpkins. These are real pumpkins. I got these at Lowe's in the gardening section, but they're really good size and they come in white and light. Are they real? They're real. They're real pumpkins. Aren't those cute for like filling little jars and things or like putting on the mantle, so. Yeah. Lowe's has really good mini pumpkins. All right. Okay, home goods. Home goods. Home goods, home goods. what do we, okay, I'll start here. Um, another pedestal. <laughs> I think this was before I found the other one, but it's glass, really cute. And then also, oh, this is Kirkland's. I didn't realize. Yeah, this yeah. little cement pumpkin. Okay, so we might be able to link that. But I thought the cement goes with like the materials of our house. So if you can find like seasonal things that still fit in your materials, colors, and textures, I feel like that's a cute way to incorporate <sighs> the seasonal I was decor. Bored with that okay. Okay. Oh, what's in the home goods? I forgot. <laughs> oh, another olive tree. Another mini olive tree. There okay. you go. I'm obsessed with them. We got some green wheat looking floor. Oh yeah, these are really pretty. These will be awesome. Like these, I feel like right when we saw these, we're like, we gotta get Yeah, because they're muted, they're soft, they look fall, and to fill maybe our island vase or one of our other big vases, we got three of these. Totally. Got a couple of these big ones for like a taller vase. Sticks, love the sticks. These are huge. I'll just Very show, tall. Really big. I like the white color actually. Yeah, and then last, Batch of wheat. Some Cute. Nice beige color, like oatmeal color wheat. We got a lot of florals. Natural, I guess this is like wheat color, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's literally wheat. Wheat. Um, like wheat. I got these are also some pumpkin little fillers. They're kind of like woven little decor pumpkins. Again, just to fill somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to use them now. At this point, I have so many little fillers. Do you place one? I was gonna put them in one of my little pedestal bowls or something, but I have pears, I have mini pumpkins, I have apples, so yeah. I have a lot of things. So going they on. might make the donation run. No, they just—they're cute though. They're woven. I mean, if you can't find the mini pumpkins, and then also this little guy. This was four ninety nine, but I also I love having like little mini plants. I actually really like places. the color of that pot. Yeah, it's cool. It's cute and it's like ceramic. Oh, these were it. Yeah. Okay. These are our favorite find items. Yeah. We were initially unsure about the color of the hydrangea, the faux hydrangeas. Yeah. But, but I think for fall, it'll be perfect. And they good. kind of stick into the material down low. So we can take these out and, and reuse them or like swap them in with something else. But we like the golden hue. We thought for, yeah. I've been looking for something low and kind of wider. I totally. think it's really nice. And then we were kind of like, the golden is like very festive totally. and it would be a perfect centerpiece like on. Uh, table, table somewhere, anywhere. And so. if it's for our, our dining room table, which is longer, we got two of, we actually got two of these, and so we can like put them, yeah, kind of fill the table out a little bit more. I know. If I we think want they're really to, pretty. But yeah, we got two, and we'll figure out what we're gonna do. They're with really them. nice, and they yeah. look pretty real, actually. Um, oh, and our pillows. Oh my gosh, our pillows are our favorite find. I yeah. think these are. We already said our favorite find was. I know. Sorry, everything was my favorite find. But these were actually a really good find. I was surprised that Julie found these. They're so, we, I think we saw them at the same time. But we thought that they look, well, I think they look like amber interiors. Yeah. Um, they were only 30 each and they're huge, like 26 by 26 or something really big. Yeah. We'll probably cut this leather strap off and use them as couch pillows. So we have What's the strap time. for? Oh, I'm fucking tired. Okay, uh, what's the strap for anyway? I think I'm, I'm it's curious. technically like a floor cushion, but we're gonna use them as pillows. I think they so should be pillows. that's why they have um, candles on them, but they're scorched. Do you think we need to cut them off or can we, we need like one more. use them flipped? Either way. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, got, we got two of those. I just love them. They're so pretty. Two? They look like Turkish vintage rug pillows. Yeah. They're so pretty. That was a good find. Oh, these are so cute. I forgot about these. Noah, shh. Stop barking. He's barking at a monkey back there. 
Oh, our piece of artwork from Home Goods, I forgot. If you watched the shop with us video, then you already saw this. But gorgeous. Yeah, this was a great find. We thought it was like very Spanish style. You can kind of go check out that video if you want to see like our thoughts yeah. behind why we liked the piece, but Home Goods find it was really good. Good colors, yeah. good frame. It's very rare that you find an art piece that you like that also is in a frame that you like. I know. Definitely. Like, there's plenty of times where we're like, we love the art, but the frame like yep. is not good. But the frame is also what adds a lot of the cost to the picture itself. Totally. But, so pretty. I love it. Yeah. All right. Last few pieces from Home Goods. These little wooden pumpkins that kind of have like carvings in them. I thought they were so our vibe. Really cool. So cute. I love them. So two of these. They're like Bali pumpkins. Yeah, exactly. But not too bohemian because I don't like too bohemian. Yeah, we showed this in the shop with us as well, but got a couple of little like decor coasters that you can place. I don't think you can ever have too many coasters. You can't. Like we'll have some on our coffee table, some at each like dining room table, yeah. some on the you island, some as like decor on the shelves. Like you can never have too many. Nope. Um, and then these I thought were really cute from home because these are little berry bowls and Hunter and I buy berries every week because we eat them in our oatmeal yeah. every day and I was like, you know what? These are like ceramic. It'd be really cute to transfer them out of the containers they come in at the store and have them rest in these little berry baskets. It's very like it's more, farmy yeah, to me, exactly. which in a farmy way that I like, like chic farm. It's just cuter than yeah, it's the cool. classic containers, cool. you know? Showed this in the shop with us as well, but it's almost like a very shrunken down miniature cutting board. Yeah. But I really like it a lot. Mini, and it's a mini. It just looks nice. We'll, we'll find somewhere to put this and it was only $6. So cute. So. Yeah, like a little soap or, you know, a little flower vase, yeah. a sponge, I don't know. A just, little hors d'oeuvre one night. Yeah, just one little Just one little snack. hors d'oeuvre. Maybe I'll make Julia a taco at some point and just put a one little taco. I've had so many tacos past a few days, I can't eat any more tacos. No more tacos? I've had like tacos I think four days in a row. Those ones today were good though. I know, but like I've had so many, I think I'm maxed out on tacos for a second. Anyways. Okay, that is going to complete that is the haul. I hope that wasn't a million years. If you made it to the end, congratulations. We try to be quick and swift. Yeah. So Although, if you know me, I good at context. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with us for the next part of the series, which is to see where all of this goes and how we decorate our house. If you want to see what our house looks like currently, we have lots of tours of the house. We'll link them below. Yeah, and, and actually I'm super curious on which stores were you most excited about us shopping at and showing you products from? Was it Target, Home Goods, Kirkland's, Amazon? Was it Vintage Finds? Yeah. We'd love to continue stuff like this outside of just fall decor. So obviously we do Home Goods a lot. But who's interested in Target, Amazon, all those places? Yeah, what stores do you guys want to see? I, I do want to do more like thrift shopping and like vintage finds. Yeah. Outside we do a lot of lot mercantile. Of yeah. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one to decorate. Yeah, like a couple more days. That's right. Be soon. If come we, hang out with us until if then. we can clean this house out. I know. But we got a couple more vlogs until then, so come hang out. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.